Hey guys, so in today's video we're looking at a special edition Jeep Gladiator 6x6 truck with a 6 figure price tag. I was fascinated by the model and I thought you guys would enjoy this. The custom truck industry is an extremely expensive one and there are often some wacky things that come out of it, like the $260,000 Ram 1500 pickup, also known as the Asnom Atulux. I made a video on that a while ago, I believe it was 2018, so you can check that out if you haven't seen it, but man was that one odd looking truck that was ridiculously overpriced, but also very luxurious. Now the craze has shifted to six wheels with other competitors like that 536 horsepower Mercedes G63 6x6 and the 600 horsepower Hennessy Velociraptor 600. This Jeep based truck is called the Resvani Hercules and it uses lots of Chrysler parts and blows those other competitors straight out of the water. So let's go over all the details inside and out. So first of all, who or what is Resvani? Well, that's automotive designer Resvati Motors, based in Irvine, California, and they make high-performance sports cars. They were founded in 2014 by Iranian Ferris Resvani, and in June 2014 they got started by introducing the Resvani Beast, based on the Ariel Atom. The first Beast was purchased in 2015 by rapper Chris Brown for $200,000 US, and Enrique Iglesias also had one as well. Rizvani then took it a step further with the tank model release in November of 2017, which was exactly as it sounded, a real beast of a machine based on the Jeep Wrangler, and that was sold for a starting price of $180,000 US to some notable celebrities like Jamie Foxx, Rampage Jackson, and Chris Brown again. So now let's have a look at the features of this thing. I'm still trying to take in how it looks, and it's something very different and unique. That's not always a good thing, but Rizvani killed it here. It looks phenomenal. Beastly, barbaric, savage, carnal, and monstrous are some words that come to mind. So officially, this will be a 6x6 pickup, which some are already calling the god of all trucks. If it looks familiar, that's because it's based on the Jeep Gladiator pickup, with a highly modified body and a massively jacked up price tag. The Hercules is fully reskinned from top to bottom and fitted with a second rear axle. It's 244 inches long. 26 inches longer than the Gladiator, and 90 inches wide, 17 more than the Gladiator. Every truck has a roof-mounted LED light bar and metal sport bar hanging over the 8-foot bed. There are tons of add-ons, like $3,500 automatic side steps, a $3,750 built-in front winch, and a $1,750 steel ram bumper. The sport bar and 37-inch wheels are available in a few custom finishes, the one Resvani have chosen to show off on their launch edition would be the bronze version. There are 13 preset paint choices at $5,000 each, or you can choose your own custom. And I will go over all the customizations and the price in just a minute. If you couldn't tell it was a Jeep from the outside, unfortunately the inside will give it away. There are tons of different options, but it just has that Jeep interior that you don't really want on a truck that's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. But at least everything is customizable. Napa leather seats are standard with your choice of four colors or a custom color, but for $5,500, the full leather package will get you an Alcantara headliner, leather armrest, dashboard, and instrument panel. There are six different seat styles, five different stitch colors for $500 extra, and 10 gauge face colors that will cost you $3,500. There are three different infotainment systems to choose from, as well as side and front and back cameras that can record around the truck when you shut it off. Other sweet options are a $950 center console safe and a $6,250 starry night headliner, which is straight from the book of Rolls Royce. Other accessories include a waterproof car cover, trickle charger, vehicle tracking device, dual battery, 6,500 thermal night vision system, and EMP or electromagnetic pulse protection for $2,500. On to performance. Here's where the things go from tame to ludicrous real quick. The base price is $225,000, and that includes a 3.6 liter Chrysler Pentastar V6, if you can believe that, with 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. So your huge 6x6 will have the same engine found in a rental Dodge Grand Caravan. For a whopping $40,000, you can upgrade to the 500 horsepower 6.4 liter Hemi V8 from some various models like the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT, or the Dodge Charger and Challenger Scat Packs. Both the engines have the choice of a 6-speed manual or ZF 8-speed automatic transmission. But if you've got some serious cash to blow, then you need to get the 7-liter supercharged V8 
Why not? It's only $249,000 extra. So Rezvani took a Demon engine, bored and stroked it from 6.2 to 7 liters, and added a forged stroker crankshaft, forged pistons, and a new camshaft, upgrading the output to 1,300 horsepower and 989 pound-feet of torque. So that would give the Hercules the crown of the world's most powerful six-wheeler, miles ahead of the G63 and Velociraptor 600. So that gets mated to the heavy-duty 8-speed automatic that was taken from the new Hellcat-powered Ram 1500 TRX. The truck has six-wheel drive standard, but it is capable of sending power to two, four, or six wheels at the command of the driver. Other additions include a sporty exhaust for $1,750, an $8,500 tow package which adds a Dana 60 rear differential and a rear-mounted tow hitch, and three different suspensions, including a $12,500 Fox off-road extreme setup with a 5-inch lift. A big brake kit is available for better stopping power, leaving you $5,600 lighter and adding 8 piston calipers and 16 inch rotors. The calipers can also be painted in 6 colors for $500. And one last thing, a right hand drive Hercules is also available for $6,500 extra for that conversion. The Rizvani website also has a very well designed customizer that easily lays out all the options for you. So I thought we'd get to work at building the most expensive one we can with every option. So the base price is $225,000 US, then we add the paint, the 7 liter supercharged V8, sporty exhaust, and all the package options that we've been over, the best suspension kit, as well as a big brake kit and the colored calipers. Inside we will also add every single thing, because you probably have the money to do so if you're in the market for this truck. Once we tally it all up, we have the very scary subtotal of around $570,000. So $570,000. Do you guys think this is worth it for that much? That's a lot of money. But now things do get even crazier if you want the military edition, which is appropriately named the Hercules 6x6 military. So this one starts at $325,000, so $100,000 more than the regular version. This is a fully armored Kevlar truck with bulletproof glass, undercarriage protection from explosives, military grade run flat tires, an armored radiator, and the electromagnetic pulse attack or EMP protection. And a lot of the other features are beyond my civilian requirements, like a self-sealing fuel tank, electrified door handles, sirens and strobe lights, a smoke screen, an intercom system, military grade gas masks, and a hypothermia and heavy duty first aid kit. But the other options are pretty much identical to the regular version. So if we add everything to the military customizer on screen and pretty much fully load it with all the options, the price jumps out to just under $700,000. So Rizvani is now taking orders for these if you happen to have at least 200 grand lying around and if you want the sickest Jeep derived vehicle on the face of the planet. You can reserve your Hercules 6x6 with a $1,500 deposit, but it is not refundable in case you change your mind. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. This would be so awesome to see in person, and I'm amazed that a company is transforming out a Jeep like this. It doesn't really look like a Jeep anymore, but they still use it as the base. What are your thoughts on the Rizvani Hercules? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and make sure to subscribe for more Mopar content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.